Hi everybody. I'm currently up in the mountains near my house and I wanted to share with you my process of making rock paint. I've been really enjoying making rock paint over the last couple months and there's so much for me to learn and explore with it. I wanted to show you how I do it so that you could try it yourself. It's super simple and it starts off with finding rocks. Over the past couple months, I've been going on mountain hikes in order to find rocks. And usually, because I live in Colorado, rocks are everywhere. I live right next to a giant mountain. And there's actually a lot of variety. But I've also found lots of success by looking in streams. I don't only use rocks for my paints. I've also been using ash and charcoal from the wood stove in my house. Once I have all my raw materials, it's time to make paint. I start off by breaking the big rocks into smaller rocks so that they're easier to crush in my mortar and pestle. I try to make them as small as possible, especially with rocks that are difficult to crush up. Then I take time to crush the rocks into a very fine powder. The finer the better. There's a pretty wide variety to how long it takes to crush the rocks into smaller pieces. Once the rocks are a very fine powder, I can now make paint. I use a little water droplet in order to put a very specific amount of water into the pigment. The more water I put in the pigment, the more translucent it is. The less water I put in the pigment, the more opaque it is. I usually try and find something that's in the middle, but for some things like charcoal, I like to keep it thicker so that there's more of an outline. But I also use the charcoal with lots of water because then I get a beautiful blue color. Once the pigment is a consistency that I want, then I add something called acrylic medium, which is used as an adhesive so that the paint can stick to the canvas. Once I put in the acrylic medium, it's paint. And it's time to start my painting. I like to do things spontaneously so that I can feel liberated and see what the colors themselves want to tell me. And eventually, once the whole canvas was covered in color, then I started getting the feeling that I wanted to paint a woman, like a woman in motion. I found shapes that looked like movement and looked like a body and then I brought it forward with shadows and outlines. I really liked exploring what the paint was capable of because it reacts so differently with water and with the acrylic medium. I never know what the color at the end is going to be. I was really inspired by the ash because it was such a warm color. It wasn't like a steely gray, which I assumed ash to be. And I also really liked this pink rock that Will actually found when he was on a walk. It was just so gentle and luminous, and I just wanted to use that over and over again. Wherever you are in the world, you'll get different pigments than I got. I think that's part of the excitement of this whole process. Color becomes precious and rare, and there's something so special about the colors that are created from this process. It's like they exude this inner light. Thanks so much for watching! If you try out this process yourself, I'd love to see what you create.